evening and welcome to Thursday's edition of the Regional News. We begin with news from Venezuela. Venezuela Attorney General Tariq Saab on Wednesday said that two people close to opposition candidate Maria Corina Machado had been arrested, prompting Machado to call the charges leveled at her team completely false. The arrests are said to complicate an already confused scenario ahead of July presidential contest. Machado won the opposition's October nominating contest by a landslide, but is barred from registering her candidacy. Machado has been polling far ahead of Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro, who is seeking re-election to another six-year term. Seven other members of Machado's team, including her right hand, Magali, also have warrants out for their detention. Washington called the move an attack on civil society and said it was inconsistent with these election guarantees deal inked last year that had led the U.S. to relax some sanctions. Machado told journalists in Caracas the arrest would not weaken her. We now bring you news from Suriname. The Court of Justice on Wednesday rejected an appeal by ex-president Desi Bautasi and his four co-convicts that sought to suspend their lengthy jail terms after they had been convicted of murder. In its judgment, the court said that all the legal rules used to submit notice of appeal offer citizens room to take action against the public prosecution service. According to the court, the relevant article of law was used as a super appeal remedy, and in its opinion, this could not be possible in its application. Bob to say 78, whose whereabouts remain a mystery after he first failed to keep his scheduled appointment to report to the prison in Santo Boma just south of the capital, Parimarbo. Three of the co-convicted retired soldiers all reported to prison. The former military officers and civilians had been charged with the December 8, 1982 murders of 15 men that included journalists, military officers, union leaders, lawyers, businessmen, and university lecturers. Earlier this month, the international police said it has placed Bautasi in its red notice list nearly three months after he was sentenced. We tell you now that suspected gang members were killed during an attack on the Petonville neighborhood on the southern outskirts of 80's capital, as clashed with police officers and locals. The latest outburst of violence comes at the political future of the crisis-wracked Caribbean island nation hangs in limbo. One reporter saw two suspected gang members including a leader known as Mackendon, killed and set on fire. Footage seen by reporters earlier Wednesday showed the bodies lying and being dragged on the street, one man with his hand cut off. Mackendon's family home was also set on fire. Almost a year ago, a group of Port-au-Prince residents lynched and set fire to around a dozen men believed to be gang members, launching what became known as the Bakwali Movement. Earlier yesterday, it was reported that at least 15 people had been killed in attacks around Petonville, home to several upscale hotels as well as around a dozen embassies. Residents there barricaded themselves inside their homes, while armed men had carried out fresh attacks east of the city. Despite Prime Minister Ariel Henry saying he would step down last week, a demand of the increasingly powerful gangs that control most of Port-au-Prince. Violence has continued as Henry remains stranded outside the country. I am Carice Gonzalez. Thank you for watching.